Hey Patty fan, we're back with another video. Uh, we're still on the Brooklyn Frost thing. So this is on a serious note. Uh, Brooklyn and TT clear relationship rumors. Let's get into it. TikTok, and then I, I went to go, I went to go follow him, and I noticed he was following me. So then oh. I went to his Instagram, noticed he was following me on Instagram too. So I'm like, oh okay. So then easy lick, you know, yeah. like it's already so good. Then, but. No, like, that's what I'm saying. Some things are meant for the internet, some things aren't. Like, in my situation, I didn't want to talk about it, but since we're on this subject, um, you know, I posted a video saying, you know, we're broken up, and, but before that... Already. Uh, hello, hello, hello. All right, so we got Brooklyn, we got TT, and we got Deshae um, on this interview about relationships. Clearing up rumors. Let's get into it again. Oh my God. We rolling, we rolling. Yes, we're rolling. And this is another episode on, on a serious note with my co-host Dub. With my co-host Deshae. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Double D's. Yes, sir. So before we introduce our guests, let me let me ask y'all what our, what we thought about this name. Our name was gonna be Catching Dubs with Deshae. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of hard. That's hella hard, huh? I'm that's hard? I, I like that. Yeah. yeah. It's but different, too. What was the one that you said? Because that was the one I said. I said, uh... Nah, that's not the one you that said. That is the one I said. <laughs> he said, uh... What he said? <laughs> no, I said catch a dub. I love Deshae and Dub's chemistry they got together. They are so funny together. They they are really are. I'm so glad they're friends. I'm so glad that Dub is feeling better. Yay. No, you he said, <laughs> I said on a serious note. No, oh, no. I said, what was the one before that? Um, um, damn, what was it? He said, um, in my opinion, in my opinion, because it's like a, a podcast is your opinion. It is. I don't like that one. No, the other one was, I like that yeah. one. Catching dubs That's, with that the one's shade. dull. Like, in my, yeah. like, hey, you guys, cheat, like cheat out to the camera a little bit more. Cheat out to the camera a little bit more. Them, let them. You guys I can't even see myself. So I don't know. You sent to that. Oh, we didn't even introduce who we got. Oh, before we guys, you guys know, we got my sister, Brooklyn Frost, and the <laughs> my other sister. <laughs> and we got uh TT. What did you say her real name for? Huh? Is that Yeah, why did you say my real name? Like my Frost. whole government. I don't know, bro. It's how easy it is somebody can steal her social security right. for that. I don't know. I I don't really have a nickname for Brooklyn. Yeah, I never really had a nickname. I just called her Brooklyn. I know. Or anything. Do you have any nicknames? Everybody calls me Brooke. Not me, though. That don't I, count. I, don't think I just count. say Brooklyn. What do you call her? What is your real name? Tiara. I did not know that. <laughs> right. I thought it was Tamara or something like that. Tamara? We call it the Shay Shay Shay. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all. Why? Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's heck of weird if you, call, if you give him a nickname, though. That We call him Shay Shay. That's heck of weird. We like, like, Shay Shay. Like, for real? We say it real fast so it's not as long as the shape. Hey, Shay Shay. <laughs> really? I swear to God. Like, I don't know if he playing. I don't know if he's like, he saying. That's what, what the we say. Nah, they, they do. They say it, but like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a nickname for Dub. I don't know. I'm thinking of like. DD's discount. <laughs> nah, just why? It's just corny joke. I'm it right now. Go ahead. Your nickname? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. I'm thinking either uh, Wobble Grill or. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, no, uh, sorry. this is this is how we gonna start off this podcast. I know y'all probably super like excited to watch this, and I know this looks like the first episode because Dub got on the same sweatsuit. But oh, nah, this is episode three. <laughs> so that, yeah, this this is another day. This is I know you might think this is episode one, but this is episode three. You got a sicko mode? He's still uh? on the same sweatsuit. Hey y'all, listen. Let's cancel the show. You got a sicko mode outfit on. You know what I mean? <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? Why are you trying to slow your watch so hard? Got the world. Hey, let's get it. So, uh, you gotta go on Diamond Watch. So, uh, TT in Brooklyn, y'all can talk, man. We've been talking, to, you know, it's our podcast. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's All so right. weird being on a podcast. I've never been on a podcast before. Yeah, it feels Girl. awkward. Yeah. So, let's, this is, we, we got y'all on the podcast so y'all can, because, you know, everybody know y'all is, you know, um, you know, such and such brother or this and this relationship. Our podcast on a serious note is to get find out the real you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know what I'm I saying? like that. I like so, that. So, uh, who want to start with some questions? Me or you, Deshae? I just you go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Doug. My first question to y'all is: is that 
Do y'all wish that y'all lived a regular life? I mean, like, no stardom, no followers, no Instagram. If you got a, if you got a, like a Snapchat, you have about 116 followers. Not really too many people looking. Probably get about 40 views a snap. Do you wish you lived that life, or do you, would you like, you like the life you live? first. You go first. Honestly, nine times out of ten, I would. I, I wish I lived a regular life than being, like, known and all this extra stuff because your business be out and you have no private life. But when you have a regular life, no followers, about, like, five friends and all that, you have no drama. You know nah, I mean? that's not true because in your world, how many followers you got in Instagram? Like 800 something. Kid. So your 800,000, right, seems like a lot of people. But somebody with no followers, they five friends seem like 800,000 people to them. You know what I mean? It's crazy. No. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Doug. No. Shoot, I'll take all the likes and follows we can get, y'all. Y'all tell a friend. Christmas gift is watching our videos, watching the ads, and getting some more subscribers. Shoot, I want to be at 80,000K. I mean, help a sister out. But I see her point, though. I see TT's point. I mean, I think, too, the interesting thing about uh, TT in Brooklyn is that, you know, it really, I want to say it wasn't their decision to become... YouTube celebs or whatever. Um, but it's like they were featured, you know, because, you know, like we just said in the other video, like Deshae is, you know, a family man. He likes his family. Um, DDG and Dub, you know, love a sister. And, you know, the sister had to be around because the, you, you miss in the story if you don't have your family involved, you know? And so they're both, they're, all of those guys are very oriented. And so, you know, they're going to let their little listeners have their shine, you know, and now they're women, growing women, grown women almost. Um, and, you know, and so now that they, people wanted to know more about them. I know I, when I was watching both of them, you know, I was trying to figure out, okay, well, well, let me know more about the sister. And I'm sure a lot of people were interested in, you know, because they both had such wonderful personalities that, you know, they just come in and steal the show kind of thing, you know. So we grew up, I mean, they grew up with us watching. And, um, yeah, now they're, you know, in the phase where, you know, I don't know if they necessarily didn't have a choice, but it was something that, you know, a lot of people wanted to see more from them. So they spin off and got their own channel. But you're right, you know, especially we just filmed that uh, segment about Brooklyn. Y'all watch Her Truth. But, you know, in Her Truth, she, you know, kind of states the downfalls that come with, uh, you know, being widely known and having lots of followers. So, all right, let's go back. So if two people know that they did something, the other three don't, it's still kind of balanced out the same way. I mean, that's just the way to think about it. How you feel, Brooklyn? Um, honestly, yes, I do. Because, well, I don't let's know. Cap. It's 50-50 because, no, no, for real, it's 50-50 because let's I feel cap. like if I lived that life with only 100, like, friends and stuff, I feel like I would want this life, though. But now that I'm in this life, I kind of, like, want it. I don't know. I just want more privacy, if, like, that makes sense. Yeah, I understand your answer, Brooklyn. I, I think that that's probably, you know, on the outside looking in, you think you want it. And then when you're there, you're thinking, like, okay, you know, if I break up with my, you know, <laughs> husband, boyfriend, whatever, you know, nobody's going to know because, you know, y'all, you know, I don't share all that just yet, you know. And so, like, because they decided to, you know, which is a natural part of the the way that they film and vlogging, you know, people are into their relationship and people got invested, myself included, you know, with the whole Brooklyn and Justin thing. And, and now that it's going to be gone and you're like, dang, that's the last video that they're going to have together kind of thing. You know, people kind of think that gives them the right to give an opinion, which it doesn't, you know. And so you don't have your same level of privacy. You don't. Get to heal and hurt in private, you know? You have to speak on stuff that, like, I'm not going to go on a loudspeaker and tell everybody my business, but it's like, basically, that's what they're expected to do to answer things that people have curiosity about. It's like more privacy because you cannot do nothing without somebody judging you or 
doing like just saying whatever they you know. Yeah. Just a mat. You have a thousand people watching you. Right. Yeah. Mm. Watching your every single move. And and I'm finna hit a million, so it's gotten more crazy for me. Yeah. Like, that's fantastic, Brooklyn. I'm so proud of her, too. I'm very proud of TT as well, you know, because it's really, they. I mean, they're a hard act to follow. So the fact that they've stayed in their lane, they have their own channel, they have their own uh, followers and love, commendable. Both, both of those young ladies, very commendable. Very proud of both of them. But, yeah, that's great. Every, like, it's everybody got their own opinions. Everybody got their new people don't even know me, think, you know, they know me. Yeah. It's off of videos, you know? Yeah. So it's like, bro, they don't stop talking. Like, I be telling people, like, stop talking to me like you sit with me every day. Yeah. Because you don't. Do you feel like people, like, do you feel like the persona of, like, the internet persona is important? You know what I mean? I'm not in for the cat. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you feel like... <laughs> See, that's right. See? And that's why I like it, though. You know, because if you don't know what it means, just anybody ask for clarification. Because... You don't want to just answer the question. And then, you know, people are like, why she answered it that way when she didn't fully understand what he was asking? Like, it's important to keep up an image on social media as if, like, okay, like, say, like, uh, you're that person that's nonchalant or anything. Do you feel like it's your, it's important to, to make sure that your people know that, like, your image is right? Like, like okay, I got to keep this image up. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're this type of person, you got to make sure. That's true, though. And I think, you know, even as women, I think, you know, um, there's a lot of assumptions that are made and you can't really just have fun and, and necessarily be yourself because you kind of have to see how this is going to be perceived per se, you know? So like, if y'all just watch our other video we just did where, um, where Duke had from A&P had, you know, some girl come to his van, you know, his, his Jeep, you know, if a girl did that, then, you know, people might be looking at it a little differently. Y'all, y'all comment if y'all have opinions about that people know you as that type of person or anything you know what i mean or do you not really care and this is a question for both of y'all do you not really care and just be like no oh, i just really post whatever or is everything like thought out strategically like okay i post this or whatever you know what i'm saying then this does like people like this or i post certain at this type of day or whatever or do you just feel like you know i don't really give a fuck what people think about me i just post whatever hey they can fuck with me or not you know what i'm saying that's kind of a hard question though that's how i used to be i don't care now you say you say you would um here talking more. You feel like you say you would uh you're more of a person that that you, you used to care, but now you don't. I used to care a lot, but mm. then now it's like it doesn't matter. What is the most? What is the biggest conception of you guys self that you guys like felt like the biggest room we've heard about yourself that you guys? Bo, some crazy stuff. So you know I don't know if y'all know what's been going on, on Instagram or whatever, but people saying like. I, I don't, I don't even know using or wasting people's time. Like you know, y'all knowing me, like yeah, I don't have time to waste. I don't have time. I don't know. It's I don't even know. Honestly, I'm lost for words right now. <laughs> lost for words. Yeah, low key. Nah, it's just about what's the most. What's the what's. What and I think she's going to warm up. I understand this is a first time. Well, at least Brooklyn said it was her first time being on a, a, a blog, um, you know, one of these shows. But the thing about it is that, you know, she just said that. And I think, you know, in the sense of like, what just happened was that she was trying to say what she wanted to say. But then she was thinking about like how other people are going to perceive what she says because the, the situation is fresh with Justin, you know? And so... You don't want to start off by like commenting about what's going on because you know, in case everybody doesn't know, you don't want to bring attention to it and have them go to those sites and see what they're talking about. You also don't want to, you know, at the beginning to start talking about, you know, these issues because you know, you're trying to see where this is going, you know, and, and so it's that kind of thing where you know, there's freaking freely, and then there's also like, um, being concerned about how you're perceived, you know. And about the line of questioning, you know, luckily, thank goodness, you know, these are their brothers um, that are asking, you know, but it's still just that, you know, people just take up and run. Like, she could just say the simplest thing that's true. And then, you know, people are having to feel day with it. It's the most misconception about, like, people have made about you. Huh? My personality and who I am. 
I feel like, like, cause, like in the past, I portrayed myself as this angry, mean girl, mm-hmm. you know, and always talking back and talk yeah. crazy and stuff like that, you know. But, you know, you change for sure. Yeah. You, I'm getting older. What was that? Like, yeah. a year ago, two years ago. Like, I'm 17 yeah. now. I'm gonna turn 18. Um, <laughs> My birthday is in August. <laughs> This next year. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm with you, little pig deal, Brooklyn. Even if it's next year, I got you, sis. Um, you know that's not me anymore. And I even look back at it and be like, damn, like I really was like that. Like now I know why people. But people will take that and yeah. think of me like that forever. That's your life, yeah. You know they yeah. don't they don't think like people can change or or whatever. Like you know. Mm-hmm. So that's really no exactly for you. Not, re- I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't have mis- an answer. Misconceptions. TJ don't really be in drama like that. Yeah, they don't really say even, that much yeah. about me. And the only thing they say about me is that I'm young. That's the only thing they say about me is that I'm a little kid, and that's the only thing. You know, you know what was weird about being a little sister to uh, I say it like a uh, to Shay's little sister, DDG's little sister, Doug's mm-hmm. little sister. They make it seem like um, y'all growing up and becoming who they already is, the person that's commenting, is a bad thing. Like, y'all oh, supposed yeah. to move super slow. Yeah. I say that me personally, in a, in a nigga standpoint or a boy standpoint, when I was 18, shit, I did it all. <laughs> I, I was 18. I was in them chicks. I'm sorry. I did it I was, all. I, I, I know all the tricks, bro. I was telling, I was telling girls to go to the movie theaters. And all types of shit, bro. Can I say something? What? On our podcast? On a serious note? What? Bro, about four years ago, when I was just starting YouTube, I was chilling with this one nigga, right? And you were on your way to his house with a girl. Wait, what? You were on your way to his house with a girl about four years ago. Why was you chilling just with a nigga by himself? It was me, my brother. It was a lot, it was a lot of niggas. Oh. But you were on your way. You were on your way to his house with a girl, and he was at telling us, oh, like... Oh, yeah, I remember. We gotta go, don't put no name out there. Yeah, 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 I remember. He was like, I, remember. I think this nigga using me. Yeah. He only hit me to bring girls to my yeah. house. I'm like, bro, how do you even know this nigga? Yeah, I'm like, how old is this nigga? She was like, he's like, like 15. I was like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> And he was, was bringing young, girls to his house. At that time, I was using him to bring girls, <laughs> because I didn't know him like that, but, like, I knew that he would let me... to say boy, I tell you but you know this that's a gender conversation to me like how many how many ladies would let some other chick bring some dudes to the house like that you know I I think we just move differently but you know being a little sister like you know if, if some of these ladies had some kind of esca- escapade like that they probably may or may not feel comfortable saying it because you know you perceive different, and not to mention because they big brother there. That's the important part. He uses crib to bring females over there. Nah, that was so crazy. that's yeah, what my I mom did. Didn't let you really like. She didn't allow that. Yeah, my mom never really liked that. Like my mom never really liked girls over and stuff like that. So I always had to sneak out. And I used to tell Brooklyn because my mom. Uh, I used to tell Brooklyn. I used to be like, because I used to live in Crenshaw. I used to tell Brooklyn. I used to be like, leave that door unlocked. Like two a.m. I'll come by. And be like that back door, unlock it. I will call her in her door. Brooklyn's. Room because it had a cage as a it had window, it had a little bars on it, okay, it had okay. bars on it, but it was right next to the back door. So I was like, on the on the screen door, and it'll wake her up. And I'm like, come unlock the door. Oh, she'll scares unlock me it. All the time. I know, but she'll unlock her, but she was a real one. I, yeah, it's scary. See, this is the little sister stuff I was talking about. Like, <laughs> they they bring brothers and having two CC, sweetheart. She got my respect. Tell her, because I'd be like, I'm going to go see this girl, bro. Keep the door unlocked. Good. She would stay up. Just, just keep it unlocked. She'd be like, I'm, st- I'm going to sleep. I'd be like, just 30 more minutes. <laughs> and I would, she would do it. Bro, I would come home, and it would be like two girls on the couch. Yeah. I'm like, who is? Yeah, my she, mom worked nights and days, so it's like she was never home. Yeah, so she was never home. So during like school and stuff like that, she'd be gone. So Brooklyn would come home <laughs> from school and see like two girls <laughs> On the couch, cause she's like, I got it at one fifty. I'd be like, damn, cause I just get out early day. <laughs> so, question: Do y'all go to school? No. Um, we're 
We're in school. We go to the same school, though. We're in school. We just don't go. It's, it's like a, a homeschool. Oh, so y'all homeschool. Independent, yeah. yeah, independent study. So we just do packets and do it online and stuff. We don't actually go inside the building. Is 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 high school overrated now? Like, is yes. it? It's not the same. Yeah. I used to like going to school because I was like, it's like hella like drama. I knew I was gonna get into something when I went to school. It's like YouTube now. Not everybody just attracted to drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how it was in high school with me. I just knew I was gonna get. Was drama. you the cool kid in high school? Nah. I was the most popular kid in high school. I swear to God, I caught anybody from my old high school. For real? the most popular. I was Did you used to wear glasses? Mm. <laughs> uh, I believe that he he had a great personality. All all of them actually, but yeah, I can see him being a popular guy. You look, you look like. <laughs> <laughs> I was in I was in a gang. I always they gonna be like this nigga bring this over every podcast. And like, it, we was like we was like we was like in a popular. He brings it up every podcast. Used to be in a gang. <laughs> oh, so look, look, look. Let me bring it up once to be you know. Let me bring. Let me ask. The name of your gang. What was the name of your gang? It was it was like it was it was in number terms. It was two eight four, but I don't want to talk about that. But uh, so I heard that you used to do stand up. <laughs> What? You should do stand-up. Remember no. Stand up. For BET? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, remember who told to, you Remember we trying to make you the star and put the little red drop? Oh. You were like, perform for BET. Remember bro, trying to make you do stand-up? Oh, me. Bro, they t- bro, I didn't tell bro, that. Oh, my gosh. How was that? If mom recorded those, like, moments. Bro, she was the first person on Vine. <laughs> my, mama, my mom introduced me to Vine. Really? Yes. I didn't know what the fuck Vine was. She was doing it on her ex, and I was like, what is that? And she was making- The cocky like, nigga. Who? He a big cocky nigga? No, 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 no. His name's, his name's he AJ. A, he said a hat on, turned it to the back. I remember seeing the videos. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about, he's, she, he's talking about John, the short one. Nah, nah, nah. Short, nah. fat one. Hell no, nah, no. Nah. But no, nah, no. Nah, yeah, she used to do Vines with him and stuff like that, and that just put me on. I used to see that. Stuff like that. It was crazy. Well, and they tried to have me sing. Yeah, we tried to have her sing and all that. That's crazy because I do music now, but... Yeah, we tried, we, Brooklyn was supposed to be the star. We tried to push that. Push you know, TT got a couple songs, though. For real? Oh, me. You want to play the song right now? It's copyrighted. You know what's crazy? I was just playing her song in my car. Are you playing foot? Thank you, Dad. Thank you for the copyright block. Good luck to TT. Y'all get her, rec- her album. Y'all get her... Uh, download her, all her stuff in uh, Brooklyn, too. But yes, please don't play it. Please don't play it. Copyright, we don't want none of that. She's with me. Yeah. So the sexy. one I'm on. Christmas. <laughs> the one I'm on. Christmas coming up, so we can't. Well, we're copyright. To that song. <laughs> I made it. When I tell you that's so, it's so cringy, like hearing my oh voice, my I was like, oh heck no. Oh y'all don't like that song. I was song? so mad at you that night because oh because I didn't want my voice. I made a song right, and she was on it. She was talking. Remember that song? Yeah, yeah. She was talking. She she was like, oh yeah, I like it. Blah blah blah. You was there. Yeah. And then oh, I went was. home. She called and was like, I don't like it. Can you please take it out? <laughs> Mind you, I left the studio and all. So I had to Bo. call Baby Rich and have him take it all out and not. Bo. I was so was, mad. Bo, listening to it now, Bo, like, because I was just playing everybody's music. I was bumping to that song, though. I was not even going to cap. Oh, and to tell her my song, I would tell her my part. I was like, oh. I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> For y'all too. What do y'all see yourself in a couple of years? Like, what do you guys see yourself doing, like, in a couple of years? What do you want to do? Uh, you go first. Okay. Um, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't, I don't see myself going to college. You don't believe I feel in college? Like, it's not that I don't believe in it. It's just, it's like, for what though? Like, yeah. You know, when I don't, I don't yeah, like. You, you think? Know, you think? You think? Uh, spending money to do what? To get yeah. a good. Thing too, you know, and uh, people from uh, older generations, myself included, you know, um, aging myself a little bit, you know, we didn't have the opportunities to do things like YouTube and things like that when we were their age, okay. And so, to some people, you know, college was the way that you know you built skills and you had, uh, you know, business acumen or whatever. And got, you know, experience to get a job that's going to make money, you know. And so now, you know, these young people, younger adults, um, high schoolers, teenagers, whatever, um, even middle schoolers, you know, I'm sure they have stuff too. But, like, you know, they have different avenues on how to do it. 
and you know they can make money even more money sometimes than uh you know people who've gone a traditional route you know so there's different options you know and it each thing is good for whoever and if you're being if you if you are very successful in, in what you're doing you know it it may not be because really with college honestly i think it's something that you want to you should want to do it for yourself you know and for whatever reason you want to do it it's great you can enjoy it um maybe you'll go back to it later but you know if you know you, each person has their own path and so you know she's choosing her she's she's very uh introspective job where i already have an easy job you know making money and stuff yeah so i don't I, think i feel like some people go to college for like it depends what you want to go to college for. You know what I'm saying? Certain jobs people want to get, you got to go to college for. But I feel like depending on what you want to do, there's certain ways you can go about it. And sometimes certain jobs and people people want to do, that doesn't require college or it does require college. So depending on what you want to do, like, like what do you want to do, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to college either. I didn't even ask y'all if y'all niggas is going to college. I oh, said, I said so I don't, what do y'all want to do? I like, don't think that college is even, I don't even know what I have to think pointless. about that. College. It's so pointless it to go to college. And it's a waste of money. It is. It's very pointless. Yeah. But. Because look, I, this is no one, this is, nah, I'm not going to put that in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to answer the question. <laughs> so, um, I might go to college depending I I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it, mm-hmm. but I might go to college for like two years to do hair to actually mm. focus on doing hair and get better at it. Or I might jump into something else like doing nails or just try to find find something that I love to do, you know, mm-hmm. instead of being all miserable and being in the house doing something for free when I could be doing something getting paid from it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Exactly. I could do. I want to do that. I, wanna, I see you starting like a hair business too. I want to. Like I you know how cool a, Hair Queen okay. LA has like a shop, like mm-hmm. a whole building. I have this. Same name's Wayne Ken Sponsored yet. I have this dream where I want to um, go to the hair school, mm-hmm. get my uh, my little license, and then I want to open up a shop and I want to have a um, a closed store in the front, right? Mm-hmm. And then in the back, I want to have a, um, a hair salon. Yeah. And just mm-hmm. have, like, a whole bunch of people working for me. And then, you know, have people that always wanted to do it to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to do that. And that can happen. I feel like if you take these steps now. That's very smart. CC, I like that idea. Because, you know, A, you know, usually, at least, you know, there's some ladies who get their hair and nails on every day, every every week you know frequently or whatever but most of the time um in mind like you have you know a special occasion or even if it's just for for daily upkeep weekly upkeep but when you go to the beauty salon you know it's kind of like the spa you know you go there to feel better about yourself you go there to to look a certain way to come out looking the way you want to look right and so you get the whole work so you just get your hair done whatever and then, you know, as you exit the shop or as you enter the shop, you see all this stuff like, OK, I need this. But then uh, when you go to the shop and you come back out, you're ready to buy at that point because you need that perfect outfit for the club or for this event you're going to or whatever. So that's smart because I think a lot of ladies going back and forth, you know, as you're waiting for your appointment at the beauty shop, because yes, comment below. Y'all been there. Y'all had to be waiting. Even though you had an appointment, you were still waiting um, or, you know, in the middle of your treatments. Uh, you know, to transition from the nail station to the hair station to, the, you know, get your pedicures. There's some time there, you know. And so as you're waiting, you can go through the the, the clothing shop and buy stuff, you know, and make your whole purchase, make it a whole day for yourself. Like in these years, like you can really manifest that and just really work towards that. And you guys are like 17 years old. So it's like the possibility is endless. You guys really have the whole world ahead of y'all. I know. Not to tell him. Y'all. He, he's almost done. But y'all. I didn't y'all even got get to tell <laughs> Shit, not funny, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't even get to tell y'all um, after I was talking about college. But um, I want to do real estate. Like, I want to do real estate. Wait, wait. Real estate and to sell someone else's house or you building a house and have someone else sell for them? No, like... Um, I mean, you build a house and then someone else sells the house for you. I forgot my mom said. It's like the people that are just like... Like, owning the real, owning the real estate company type, you know? What you mean? Like, like people that... Like, say, like, you know it's like a real estate company? Mm-hmm. 
And you have people like sell the house for you, and like not for you, but like you have people selling. You just own the house a real estate company, so you have yeah, people sell the house for you. Yeah, so so yeah. you want to own the business that that has the agents that yeah. sell yeah. other yeah. houses. Mm-hmm. But you yeah. don't want to own any properties. I would own a property, but not to sell. Oh yeah, so you want to own a lead of yeah realtors. Yeah, do you got to go to college for that? No, you don't, and you have to get certified, and that's a great idea, Brooklyn. Yep. No. No, you don't. You do. Not for real estate. For business. Anything for, Dub says, he's been no, here no, for listen, a minute. Listen, listen, listen. Anything listen. Dub says, that's, he's that's an OG. Cool. Listen, that's business management, though. I if you want it to be a realtor, then that's a class. Yeah. Oh, I see. If I don't know. This is certification, Mr. Dub. I just asked Dub. I don't know, though. You know? But that's the shade, one. The shade didn't pass school. Dub passed everything. My mom so passed <laughs> My mom passed school. school for the Dub shade. It's equivalent to, it's some equivalent to Albert Einstein. Bro. You asked Dub anything, he got it. He passed school. Go ahead. Why is it raining? Well, um, according to the temperature. <laughs> bro, listen. Every time we do this podcast, y'all, the shade trying to throw these corny jokes, bro. And it, no one puts the time step on these. The shade just trying to make this podcast funny. It don't work out. Is this? You can't lie. I'm a funny nigga. Nah, bro. Sometimes, Keep it on it. Bro. Sometimes your jokes can be like, all right, bro. All right, shut up, Brooklyn. That's not what I was talking about. Like, <laughs> feel like, um. Where do y'all see y'all selves in, too? Why are y'all asking all the questions? I, I honestly, um. I'm actually working on something. I said about two years. I think I'm gonna be done with everything. In two two years, I'm not gonna do years. Two years, I'm not gonna do anything. Why? Like no internet. I feel like in two years, no internet. Nothing. I think I'm just gonna be. You gonna retire? Yeah. In two years. But still making money, type. I, yeah, because I mean, not me. I'm talking about like as far as I'm working on woo up stuff, Mm. uh, businesses. I'm going to have, like, a couple businesses. I got businesses that I'm working on right now. So you're not going to say what it is? The businesses? Like, what are you doing? What's going to be in two years? I got a trucking company. <laughs> see? TC holding him to the car. She holding him to the man. She's like, uh-huh, you're going to answer the question, but you don't want to answer it, okay? She said, go ahead, let us know. You don't answer me nothing, you ain't going to answer. That I'm building right mm. now. So I should bring in a couple revenue. <laughs> businesses. Uh, I got a rental, a car rental company that me and well, I, well, me and a couple of other people were putting together. Mm. I like. That. No, that's a good business. That's I good. heard that makes. No, sense. that's really good. Especially if they're like exotic cars. Yeah. Got a doctor working on, uh, <laughs> you know, to shave some knee surgery, <laughs> you know, a little lift and stuff like that. You guys ever, you guys ever, ever been in any instance where like you feel like people have like tried to use you to get to like. Either. Wait, you ain't answer the question. I want to know your shit, too. What was me? Where do you see yourself in two to three years? Oh, two to three years? Or just a couple of years, yeah. I'm um, be like 22, 23. I really want to be able to, um, I really want to, by the time, bro, I want to quit YouTube at like 20 something, early 20s, bro. Like, to do what? I don't know. That's what I'm figuring acting? out. Acting's cool. I love acting and stuff like that. That's fine and all, but I feel like. I don't know, right now with COVID and stuff, it's very depressing and stuff with just the rules and being on set with COVID, but I really do love acting and just, you know, picking that. Let me ask you this. If you got a big, sh- let's say if they made a new, like, Power or something, it became the biggest show, mm-hmm. and you was the lead, would you stop YouTube? They would uh, give nah, you- I love YouTube so much, bro. It's like, I don't know, bro. It's like, YouTube is hard. I loved being able to create a video whenever I want to and just being able to pick up a camera and, and create a storyline and have people come back to my storyline. I think what acting is like you're repping, you're you're showing it's dope, but you're showing somebody else's story. You're repping, you're 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 telling somebody else's story. With well, YouTube, you can tell your own story. You can I make feel a like video. that is big because I feel like the only people that got out of that is Will Smith and Denzel Washington. Really, yeah. you know, because like you don't name Denzel Washington and be like, oh, the nigga from you know, yeah, you should be like Denzel. But you know, um, the dude from Power is named Michael, I think. But you think of him as. Tariq. Tariq. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel um, Let me ask you a question. Um, would y'all, do y'all feel like y'all have to entertain the people? Hmm? Like, do y'all feel like y'all have to entertain? I feel like that's, I feel like if it's one person that thinks like me, it's the Shay. And it, my brother in it, but his in the music, I feel like I have to. It, matter of fact, two days ago, it's in my new vlog I just posted. The Shay was like, <laughs> I do anything to entertain the people. Cause I was like, go talk to a girl randomly. He's like, I do it, bro. I do anything to entertain the people. And I think 
it sounds like fucked up hearing it out my mouth, but if you just take it for what it is, I do, I would do whatever to entertain the people. I think, bro, and I think me too, like, and I feel like we'll have to, and I feel like I kind of like, I don't know what to sound like, whatever, but I feel like if I, I just think like this to keep me going. If I fall off, my whole family falls off. So I got to try my hardest to keep this shit going. I don't going. think that's true. Huh? I don't think it's true. I mean, yeah, so shit, then fuck <laughs> this shit. We can no, I'm going. saying like, I'm saying like, you're saying, basically saying like, you're the root of the, uh, you're the root of the tree. I'd be like this. I'm not going to so lie. I feel like I'm the hardest worker out of my family. You are. Yeah. You are. But to the point where it's like, like them say, you'll do anything to entertain. Yes. I wouldn't, though. Right. So you wouldn't either. No. Yeah. And that's why I feel like. Right. So I get what he, I agree with what he's saying. Like, it's like, it's like, if it's going to be like, hey, you better go fuck with that person. That's going to get a million views. It's going to be crazy stuff like that, whatever, or whatever. I'm going to be the nigga be like, oh, it's easy. It's good. I'm going to bring it back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? For my people and stuff like yeah. that. Right. But if they're like Brooklyn, go fuck with some people, we're going to be like, Nah, nah, it's good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm good. But you ever heard that song, um, Nick Pills and Pills? Um, how does it go? By Nicki Minaj. Um, people were like. So this, and then I don't want to. The one thing I don't want to talk about on the podcast is boyfriends and stuff like that. But let me ask y'all this: Why, why, um, this is me. If I was a a girl, I would really want to see how y'all like a boyfriend and girlfriend videos. Because it makes it just, like... Huh? No, no, no. What? Talk about from a girl standpoint. If I'm a girl and I'm watching y'all, I would want to see y'all going on dates with y'all boyfriends and stuff. It's entertainment. That's what me oh, and Deshae mean. So. Like, mm. y'all try to, like, hide... Like, you can hide your relationship without personal information coming out. You just entertain them. Oh, I with see the what good you mean. Thing. I see what you mean. What exactly. I'm saying with Deshae is... When, when then when y'all break up, it seems so much bigger because the entertainment is done. That's why people take breakups as so big as it is on the internet, because it's like you're done. It's like loving SpongeBob, then SpongeBob die. You be like, damn, it's done. I can't even. You know, you feel me? That's how. That's why I don't. That's what going back to what we said. Like we'll do anything to entertain. We will put you. We will make you the illusion that you're in our relationship, but you don't exactly, know exactly like it's the entertainment the part. We'll show something where the internet thinks whatever, but like, I I think that goes in the gender roles and expectations and things like that. You know, it's like, you know, unfortunately, in some cases, uh, you know, you expect that the, that the guys have multiple girlfriends or, you know, they may not have a long lasting relationship, which is not true. But, you know, if if it happens, you know, you, you expect the guy not to vlog about his relationship as much as a girl, which... Is also not true, um, especially if they're not married, you know. Um, you know, you may not see a, a single man with his girlfriend on his video all the time, you know. And so, but then with a the girl, you're wondering, okay, well, who's she dating, you know. And then, you know, I know TT's had videos about, like, you know, my brothers are blocking and, you know, whatever. And that's what brothers do, nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it's just that whole thing of, like, people needing to know why you're still single kind of thing or how long you're going to wait so you get into another relationship. Like, they ask women that question. They don't ask men. Actually, so like, you cut the camera off and it's a whole different story. But No, bro, that's my, that's that's what's been going on. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I just recently broke up with, you know, my right. boyfriend. And they think it's the end of the world. Like, it is for some. That's what I be trying to tell TT. It is. But it is. Not, but it's not the end of the world, though. No, I'm saying for dumb it is. Right, but it shouldn't be. You should have your own life. Even if you enjoy watching other people's lives and you start subscribing, you're a loyal fan, get your own. You shouldn't be relying on nobody else's relationship to make you happy. You can't even rely on your own relationship necessarily to make you happy. So why are you dependent and so involved in somebody else that you've never met? Is for the who? people that's watching. Oh yeah, yeah. That y'all, their entertainment. That's why we trying to tell TT. But it'll be oh, different. I see, I see I, what you're talking about. I get it. I feel like it will be different if me and him like build it together. You know? Yeah. So I will get it. Like, okay, I see why they're like Darren Ken. Look, just imagine you watching the show, right? Mm-hmm. And your favorite character is on there, and then 
couple episodes down, the character is gone. You're not going to want to watch that episode anymore. Exactly. That's, that's exactly. exactly. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. So look, let me tell you Let me tell you what type of person that, I, I'm not even going to put me in it. I'm going to put Deshae and my brother in too though because you know even though i don't think that's right either i understand exactly what tt's saying because there are some people you know i don't want her numbers to go down but sometimes people you know may may not subscribe still because you know they want to see relationship and then it forces you to jump into a relationship when you're not ready because you need to satisfy all these people asking you questions or at least you want to now you already feel lonely but then people are like yeah you're lonely (laughs) like so having all that feedback, you know, it, it makes it hard to to do things when you're ready. I think personally, um, and y'all can comment if if that's different for younger people or older people on YouTube. You think, but um, I I think there's definitely a pressure for uh, single ladies to to be a couple on YouTube. Is that type a breakup can end the nigga? It could end him, not the the girl. You see. Think of all the past things. Mm-hmm. The Shay and my brother is the type of people, oh, I'm going to keep you entertained. <laughs> oh, let me go here. Let me do this. I'm going to go, oh, let, let me get them off of this. Or you can use it to their advantage. Mm-hmm. With what y'all, though, what y'all don't understand is, is that I'm not saying, I'm just saying, like, past or anything. It's like the way y'all so silent and just, like, you get what I'm saying? I feel like females are more emotional, bro. I feel like yeah, females are it, more, they take like they take it way more to like to sponge me. Like, I feel like us, we can you and me, bro, something can happen or whatever, and we'll think of like, okay, how can we turn this into money? Yeah, but you know, I, I dispute that. I understand what he's saying. You know, and I, I do see Dove's point about, you know, at least turning the viewers to something else by giving them some more different type of entertainment is important. And I think, you know, DDG and Deshae are, are very clever in the way they do that. Um, you know, for example, Deshae's video he had about his family and, you know, how everybody's growing up and all that stuff. He gave us that little gem, but then the next one's super happy, you know, like we are used to seeing him and very entertaining as usual, you know. And so, you know, that the feelings didn't go away, but it's just that he's not recording and, and uh, allowing us into that portion of where he was at and how it took him to heal and what he's going through you know where you know this is you know there's at least two three four possibly breakup videos that you know a, a female youtuber might have to do to explain their relationship or what happened and this is my new guy this is how we get along this is you know all this other stuff uh videos about your kids and all that stuff so it is expected that you know um she's gonna show more of her relationship than than maybe the guy youtuber my sister doesn't think money first my sister thinks emotion feelings first. exactly so it's like brooklyn i'll be trying to tell you like listen you can turn this into this we can turn this into a play but brooklyn will shut off she'll shut her emotions off she'll She'll be like fuck no do whatever fuck everybody and just you know what i'm saying so but it's like a female thing it's like bro my my exes they're like that you know what i'm saying so i i see like certain things and just with my mom i'll see my mom do the same thing like no it's it's not even i say f everybody it's just some things i feel don't need to be on social media. Some things I feel, you know. So listen, that's this is where I'm getting at too. So put it like this: this is why it's a lose for the people in the nigga when y'all do that, right? Because y'all keep y'all personal life off the internet, right? Mm-hmm. But once y'all break up, that personal life comes out for one video. Mm-hmm. That nigga look like dirt <laughs> because all the other stuff is entertainment. It's, it's to make them love you, make you love him, right? Mm-hmm. But that one video that come out and say we broke up because he got loud, he did this, he cheated. What the the fifty entertainment videos means nothing to the personal right. shit. You get what I mean? So it's just like that's what makes it worse. But no, like that's what I'm saying. Some things are meant for the internet. Some things aren't. Like in my situation, I didn't want to talk about it, but since we're on this subject, um, you know, I posted a video saying you know we're broken up and. But before that, like, the entertainment videos and everything looked like we was good. Like, he was, you know, everything, like, everything was all good. Like, you know, just a perfect relationship. It looked yeah. like a perfect relationship, yeah. you know. But it was some videos where I did some things, you know. So they took that video and ran with the whole relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, they think that one video is based off, is based off our whole relationship, basically. You know, so they think 
I was a problem or, you know, yeah. certain people treated people like this because of how those entertainment videos were portrayed, you know? Exactly. It's not, I don't have a camera 24-7. I'm not going to show you my personal stuff. I'm not going to show you when he's yelling at me. I'm not going to show you when he does things, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like... Yeah, yeah. showing, like, you. I feel like, I feel like, honestly, on social media, what happens is, and it happens all the time, bro, I feel like with of relationships or people or just careers, they're going to bite. Uh, they always say negati negativity uh, spreads 100 times faster than positivity. So it's like sure. everything can go well. People are preying on your guys' downfall no matter what. Like sure. you guys might think, okay, whatever, like, you know, it's lovey-dovey. But them same people, when y'all popped out and they were saying they love y'all, whatever, some shit, will be the same people when something happens and they'll go choose their side. They're going to choose their side. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. So it's like you got to realize, but these people... They love you one day and, they, and they'll hate you the next. You just got to be able to have strong stink, skin to push through both of them days. You know what I'm saying? You got to right, keep right. going because at the end of the day, bro, you guys have to realize this. And and I've had conversations with bros and all of us in like our, our group and shit. Like, you guys are the prize, bro. You guys are the prize. The people are coming. They're coming to come right for you. They're going to be on their best behavior. That's how everybody is. We got You got two million followers together and, uh, before they're even 18. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hitting $100,000 before they even can even drink. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, for that, to a lot of niggas, that's a, a lick. That's a lick. You guys are a lick to a lot of niggas. Oh my can God. I, so you have to... Like that's true, unfortunately. And see, that goes back to, you know, the point of like, you know, you knew where I was before we started dating kind of thing. You know, and so... But the bad thing, and this is the reason I think that um, it's difficult growing up on YouTube, especially with a celebrity sibling, brother, uh, whatever, is that, you know, now you have to always ask that question. Like, that usually isn't your first question that you have, you know, why is he interested in me? You know, it's because of my attributes versus what I can offer um, financially, you know, or at least by clout, you know. Um, and so and her, her generosity, you know, um, and just being, you know, a nice person or really caring about, uh, Justin, you know, she helped him with his YouTube, of course, which anybody would have did, you know, he's constantly on there. He had a, people liked him, you know, they wanted to see more for him and that was a great thing to do. But, you know, um, it just, not that I think that was the case. I'm not saying that, but I just think that, um, you know, going forward, you know, sometimes, because you might ask that, like her next relationship, she might want to check that, you know, um, possibly, or, or maybe her family might be like, okay, well, you know, is this person really for you thing? And then you kind of hold back a little bit more than you would if you were just a regular person, because now you're thinking like, okay, are they going to think this? Are they going to want that? You know, um, you know, or is their family going to be biased? Cause I do YouTube and they don't like YouTube, you know? Um, so it's, it's, it's all kind of extra things that come on. Um, or, you know, you can't film everybody in the room because they're not comfortable with it. You know, when you go to his house for the holidays, you know. Moo. I'm just telling y'all. like Same niggas. I'm oh, telling y'all. They're the same niggas. But I'm, tell you. But I'm just trying to tell y'all, like, you guys are the prize, bro. No, like, move. You guys are the chess piece. You know what I'm saying? Show these niggas how to play the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Can, know how it is. Don't fall. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Can I? I want to ask two questions. Uh, I'm gonna ask you first, TT. You keep letting uh, Brooklyn go first. <laughs> <laughs> how do how do y'all realize that y'all two is the reason for? We have an LA group, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And do you know y'all two are assembled? That do you know? I don't know if you know this, Brooklyn, but do you know that I was the first person on YouTube to do a little sister video? The first person. For real? First person to do a little sister, boyfriend, brother video, right? Mm -hmm. It got me to, it got me, you know, money, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, my brother took it from me. And then the shade took, took it from it my from brother. The brother and, and then it was just like, um, <laughs> in the LA community, black you, uh, community, you know, we're one of the, the biggest, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But to give flowers, you know what I'm saying, while we can, y'all are the, you two are the reason why a lot of this shit is happening. How do y'all feel about, do you, answer, do you know that? I, I hear you. I don't feel that way, though, sometimes. Yeah. Like, but you're. I, while you're, t I can hear what you're saying. Like, I, I believe you, but then I don't feel it. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? 
I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, it's like, you, you see where he's coming from? Like, you see it. Yeah. And it's like, it's not, it's, it, you just don't feel like that. Do do you feel like do you feel like maybe maybe since you know like you can you you start or anything whatever do you ever feel like all right like do you okay this is a good question actually do you do you feel more obligated to create your own like your own little little thing you know what I'm saying like creating your own channel like do you put that much effort into your own thing or do you rather just being like let that shit just strive with the world like with life and shit like that you know what i mean or are you focused right now the age right now you're like okay i need to create my own brand and my own shit i'm not focused at all you're not I'm just you're just, just going with the wave right now yeah yeah i'm not i'm not my mindset is just not like all right gotta do this gotta do that i'm mm-hmm. just living mm-hmm. living that's, that's all I'm i doing. can say the same thing like um my focus is really my focus to right now is really just focusing on me and god's um, connection because mm-hmm. I feel like I lost that in that relationship so I'm trying to gain that like yeah. back that's really my is main it, focus is this is this is oh god bless you Brooklyn and TT but that's good that she's focusing on herself and so it's like you know being a professional uh, being her own business person both of those ladies but it's just also you know you have to build yourself up before you know you got to know who you are before you want to make your brand you know and I think that's something you know, they're still teenagers, um, and, you know, even though, you know, there'll be women soon, but it's just, you have to find yourself to know what your brain is, you know? You have to, you know, connect with yourself, and sometimes you need time away from a relationship to do that, or sometimes you can do it in a relationship. But, you know, your brother's identity, especially when you have very popular siblings, um, you know, that kind of shapes, you got to stay in line of what their channel is, and and, you know, they're portraying you as a little sister, like T.T. said, of like, you know, she's the youngest one and she feels like, um, you know, everybody expects certain things like little sister things, you know. So they're looking at her like she's 12 still versus being 17, you know. And so that's a huge difference. And they have to find their own identity to start uh, before they can start making their brand. Now, I guess some people's brand is they're finding the search of. But, you know, it's kind of hard to define intentionality about your brand before you um have like a solid foundation just the additional question to his question is it because y'all know y'all are straight is it because like that's interesting too you know because that that answers the the go to college you know you know working your nine to five trying to get a promotion kind of thing you know and also um finding themselves in in Knowing that they're straight, you know, um, it, it takes a different angle to like, you can do what you really want to do versus what you have to do. Like my mom can't, she's not going to like, like my mom, if, if TT don't upload a video and my mom don't do anything, she know her bills still get paid. Is it because of that? That's a good question. Mm-mm. Not for me. No, not exactly. Because I know this stuff can be gone, like, you know. But do you really? <laughs> in, a blink, in a blink of an eye, I know this this can be gone. So it's like, you know, some days I'd be like, all right, but let me, let me get on my YouTube, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I got to, you know, even though I get paid heck of mo- money, just I can not do any YouTube videos, you know, and still get paid good money yeah. for that month. But I could be making more. Yeah. So Sorry. it's like... I, I, how are you back home? How, how do you feel? How does it? How's it for you when you go back home to Pontiac? I feel good for some reason. I just feel so free, and then I'll be around friends, and then it's like I be going to parties. I don't have to worry about nothing. So it's more of a relief when you go. When people know who you are when you're in there. That nobody comes up to me for some reason. Like I just, I be like, like, like a regular person. Did that make sense? Like when I go, all I'm just smiling. When I'm mm-hmm. here, I'm just in the house. Just bored yeah. and I don't do anything. No, well, it's just no. my choice, but I don't do anything. But when I'm home, I can walk to the store. I'll be around um, people that I've been friends with for like 10 years. Uh, I mean, I feel you. Can I, I want to ask this. And this might be, it's not weird. I'm taking it weird. I know a lot of people want to know this. As a popular person, right? And both of y'all are in new, you know, anyways, new relationships. We're not. How do 
a popular girl find a boyfriend to write back? Like, how do you find a person to write back? Like, hey, you get what I'm saying? The right, boy? Oh, I see what you're saying. Because you like, see how they both got a million followers. That's what I said. Right? How do you? Like, how did you how find you your boyfriend? I don't understand that. Not even that. Like, if you don't like, how do you find your person? But how do you? How do you choose your person? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. With Me, all these, I don't have like. Okay, that's what I'm saying. With with. with <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen. With all these people, there's all these people that's, you know, inboxing, yeah, liking. How do you, you know how many DMs I get about you, Brooklyn? I'm sure you get so many DMs right. about TT, but bro. that's what I'm saying. Like, how, how do somebody stick out? You want to strangle these little niggas, bro? They'd be like, send me Brooklyn's toes right now. I'd be like, you are eight years old, bro. You're you over a trip. Video, you look at the time stamp, yeah. you click it. Bro, somebody's TV talking about, I seen a TikTok talking about I eat Thanksgiving. So I, all the things I'll eat, it was like, Pork, turkey, and then the third one was Brooklyn, and then it was some mac and cheese. I'm like, nigga, what, what the hell, the hell is? I put a TikTok up of me redoing the uh, uh side talk, Bing Bong. Titi yeah. <laughs> hair everywhere. They talk about Titi look good as fuck. Her hair even doing. I'm like, fuck. fuck off my shit. Nigga. Like, but that's what I'm saying. How do y'all stick? Look, look. You see that the cover right there? <laughs> look, it got a, it's the top. A lot of, I feel like a lot of boys like natural now just nowadays because being like plastic, all that fake stuff is in and it's like regular now, you know. So being natural and real hair and all that, it's like rare. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you wait, know, wait. So y'all go. For, <laughs> how do you chew? How, 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 no, that's not how I chew. I'm saying that's yeah, probably why chew? people get with you. But right, wait, 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 wait. I'm talking I'm, about the video. Yeah. No, I'm talking about how do you yeah, find? How do y'all find? That's what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all niggas. Um, honestly, help, help these people out here that want to that want to um, date a nice, one a nice uh, two million subscriber girl, rich. I don't. Girl. Honestly, my last relationship, not the recent one, but my last one, I didn't go looking, but for this one, um, Chuko, Chuko kind of like was like, you know. Yeah. He's cute and he's been trying to, you know, talk to me and stuff. So I was like, let me see him. Saw him. He's cute. Text. Mm. <laughs> That's, That's the same thing. That's what you two. Well, I seen him on TikTok and then I I went to go I went to go follow him and I noticed he was following me. So then oh. I went to his Instagram, noticed he was following me on Instagram too. So I'm like, oh okay. So then Easy lick. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's already so good. Then, I go to the messages. I noticed he texted me three months ago. So then, oh. <laughs> so then I respond, and then it just went from there. But, but I decided to keep talking to him from the first time we linked up. The little texting part, I wasn't taking it serious at all. Mm-hmm. I was just having fun, right? Because mm-hmm. you know, I just got out out of a toxic relationship, so I'm back out there. So I'm just texting, flirting. You know, I haven't mm-hmm. did that in a minute, so just flirting. But then after we linked up and stuff, then. Then I started to like pick like him. him. Cause I wasn't just talking to him. That makes mm-hmm. sense? I got and then I got a perfect question. What? When y'all find that dude, do y'all be in your room and be like, damn, the Shay and Dub, can they just let me have this? Like mm-hmm. a, individual, cause you know, like oh. you know the is I'm coming like, with that camera. You know what I mean? Oh. Do y'all think about that? Oh my like, god. You know I'm coming with that camera. But with this relationship, no, with my last relationship, releasing one, bro. I begged the shit. I said, I don't want this on YouTube. I <laughs> hey, do I not didn't, want this on YouTube. The what, shit was like... Was I the first person? No. Bro, the Who shit was the first was like, person? Mom was. Yeah, mom was, but... The shit and then like, mom bro, kept please. on having them. Bro, this mom was the shit. was like, bro, please, Brooklyn. Bro, this gonna... Bro. I'm like, no, because, you know, I didn't want... You know how we just talking. I didn't want it to and be then y'all... that fast. But also, another thing is how everybody really kind of knew about us talking. Because you put me in, on no, Instagram. He put me in his live. And that's how everybody knew. And then he went came to Sunday dinner, and then you was begging. <laughs> no, no, that's cat. That's cat. What was the question again? Like, do you be like, damn? I hope no. this nigga don't recure with her one day, like that. You know, with you, I always feel comfortable with you. For like, if I have anybody around, you're the first person that would meet them. Yeah. The only person that I would hate for them to meet. It's Moo. That is the only person because Moo is the type to make them feel intimidated. That's, that's what but, uh, it, uncomfortable. See, this yeah. this is another thing you with try the, to be all. This is yeah. another thing. See, and that's why like, yeah. that's why the entertainment shit works because people be thinking that my brother be lying when he be make he make it entertaining with the TV yeah. videos, but that nigga be dead ass serious. Yeah. It's like when the camera come off, it's like the laughing part stop, but the nigga be like, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like really, really like that type shit. Mm-hmm. But um. So <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he nah, talk, I don't even want to talk about it. Nah, it's, it's funny because I, I, I remember this shit. It was just so funny. Like, I remember when I seen a little... Because, you know, I only watch... I only watch my homie stuff. Yeah. So, I always see if you post or anybody posts, like, my feed line is everybody that I watch. Yeah. So, I just remember seeing, like... Uh, I, re- I know you had a boyfriend, uh, but I just remember seeing him at the baby shower. Hmm. By the time he was already on the channel, right? At the baby shower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was before that. I was just like, but this is so funny. I know they was going through that shit, like... We're just telling the shade, but you can't tell the shade no, because the shade be like, <laughs> At I'm all. just gonna, I'm just, just, I'm just gonna uh, record for a little bit. It was like cool, but I like, I ain't gonna lie, I like the job of chemistry. I'm not gonna lie, people he like sneak, their chemistry. Sneak sometimes though, people like, wait, hold on, what? He got a camera, like who me? Yes, you would sneak like coming in already recording. Because I know when it's appropriate time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm like that too. You know, I, I rather get, because I don't like to set up jokes. I set it up. I'll be like, you know, I sneak because I'm finna say a joke. But I don't like like, hey, or I'm finna record. Because that's do you, just. Mm-hmm. But that's do you know, nice. like, recently, uh, when I did my videos with TT, that was like real. Like, I didn't know he was coming. For real? Yeah, I didn't know who he was. And we were in the gym. Mm-hmm. And I seen like a young nigga in the gym. People probably think it was staged. Mm-hmm. But when I seen it, I'm like, damn, this nigga big as hell in my mind, right? <laughs> so I had fucked up the video, and I was just like, this the nigga to talk about? I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this? I'm thinking this nigga working at the gym, work, live here and shit. Yeah. I'm thinking it's a little nigga. <laughs> UFC fighter coming out there. I was like, hold on, let me do this part. <laughs> 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 was, you can act, and I'm like... Big ass nigga, let me do this. This nigga lifted eighty pound things like this, <laughs> staring at me and shit with a beater. I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? Do you um TT and then uh both I was gonna ask, do you guys feel like invested into your guys' brothers like relationships, or do you not give a fuck? Yes. No. I kind of not invested, but like, well, not invested, no, but. If I hear some things, and you know, are you like to hear something in a blog and you call your brother and be like, "What was this?" or something yeah. like that, and be like, "Yo, what was this?" or something like, like no, how your no. girl? I mean, how like I don't, I don't know if I could say it or not, no, but probably not. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not getting edited. Somebody, Watch your words. <laughs> okay. Watch your words. Somebody was. Somebody. See, that's what I'm talking about. They want it, like. They got stuff in their relationship we don't know. And so, therefore, they have the option to keep it to themselves, to keep it private. But then, because the ladies have their relationships, you know, as a, a part, sometimes it seems a part of their whole channel, you know, they uh, don't have the luxury to... We know what we know. And we probably know less about her relationship than we know about the Shays or Doves or DDGs. I was trying to, like, you know, kind of tell your business and stuff. So that's uh, when I was like, that's not cool type. Yeah, yeah. That's when I kind of got, like, if it's stuff like that, like, people trying to, like. Oh, no, teach the same way. Yeah. yeah. You probably, yeah, I, I, I don't care you. if you cheated. But I don't care if she cheated or nothing like that. I don't care about Bro. that. But if it's on the internet and I see somebody, like, he, like she's trying to, like, kind of, like, yeah. bash you or play with your character, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Her. Likewise, for you, if I see somebody that's coming out trying to bash you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably say something to the person. I wouldn't say nothing to move. Right. Yeah. Dejan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't contact them at all, but I'll contact the, the person. The person. That says, um, Same. Let, let me ask you this, Deshae. Yeah. If, if you've seen Brooklyn boyfriend cheating at a party, Brooklyn wasn't there. What would I tell? Would you tell Brooklyn? Hell yeah. Or would you, would you confront him at that moment? Or yes. Would you tell I'm, I'm telling, I'm confronting the nigga. And then I'm telling Brooklyn. He know I'm finna tell Brooklyn. And then that's just it. That's just it. Why would I just Brooklyn. see the nigga and then leave and then be like, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. <laughs> this nigga, you better watch out. <laughs> this uh-uh. nigga, come to here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? I'm not finna do that because that's just crazy. What would y'all tell niggas? Uh, somebody watching right now that, that wants a, uh, a chance to work with you, take you guys on a day or do anything. What would you tell a regular? The nigga, right, hey, nigga, right there. <laughs> I know you yeah. right that nigga sitting on his like couch. <laughs> that nigga sitting on his couch right now talking about, oh, I wanna go on a date with Brooklyn and TT. What I gotta do. That gotta go to school tomorrow at 7 a.m. Still shitting in his drawers over here. <laughs> wanna go out. What would y'all tell them? What do they gotta do to meet you? <laughs> Honestly, me, um They turning it down right now. I'm staying. Mama telling them. No, they talking about 
Roy got problems. Like nobody want a, a dude that got some. Like he he need diapers. I'm staying single for a while, so I can't even answer that. Cause yeah. I don't even I don't want to talk. I don't even want to talk to nobody. Like shit, I know I know that feeling. Like I don't even care to talk to nobody no more. Shit. TT can't answer that. See, the whole yeah, relationship. I'm, I'm, I'm taken. I can't answer. Oh, that. shit. I don't, see, I don't be invested. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I feel it. I respect it. Hey, I got some questions that people asked on my Instagram. We're going to ask you guys right now. Okay, okay? All right, bet. They said, um, why don't you guys hang out anymore? We do. Just Y'all too. We just hung out yesterday? Two days ago. Two days ago. Okay, I'm just asking. So private, bro. Let like, me yeah, hang with got... the shade, boy. I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got to say that now. <laughs> <laughs> my camera about this big. <laughs> you know that. I see you in four years. Oh, shit. <laughs> I see you in two years. <laughs> I think he could be having a tear down his face. <laughs> he gonna come to my deathbed. Oh. Hey. Hey, I know it's your last words, but shit, say what's up. Hey, what's that shit you say? Stay frosty, you dig? <laughs> All right, that's, that's what I'm saying. So it's just like, that's why... That that single the things that y'all don't think so that's that's like so big be so big to the viewers because y'all mm-hmm. so private. Yeah. They don't yeah. think y'all hang out. Oh, like for example, if we was to go on the um YouTube right now and say we want fit Jesus. <laughs> we oh, weren't was that a glitch? And <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, <laughs> fry. <laughs> If we was to go on YouTube and say that we wasn't friends anymore, it would be big. That shit would go crazy. Big. Yeah. It would go crazy. Imagine y'all beefing or something or something Mm happened. That shit would go crazy. Bo, me and... Yeah, I like them as friends. They're too cute. He's been friends for how long? Three years now? Three or four. Three or four years. How long was it? Three or four You should remember too. Well, since... I was living in Crenshaw when I first came to your house. I met these niggas at like... So it had to be... I was like... 17. So 20, 2018. 2018, whenever. I was his friend first before I was yours. You mm-hmm. never talked to me. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember going to the buffet, and they was all joking and laughing. I was just in the corner, like, <laughs> <laughs> like all awkward and stuff. Brooklyn used to be a quiet-ass girl. I'm not going to lie. Brooklyn used to be so quiet. She just now starting to, like, talk and stuff like that. I think, TT, you're really quiet. Maybe because I don't... I don't know. I feel like when you have your own little world, I think everybody has their own little world where they're just like, I don't know. I don't feel like you act like this out there. Do y'all feel like, uh, yeah, I got matching tattoos, right? Yeah. This one? Yeah. See, they, people I don't know this. Y'all got matching tattoos? Yeah. Bro, yeah, they got they, the, show the camera they got matching tattoos. You got the butterflies and Bro, everything. I swear people be thinking y'all beefing. <laughs> no. Isn't that crazy though? But Brooklyn, this one I be telling y'all like, the the image of the internet, like, okay, they think y'all beefing, but y'all got matching tattoos, y'all cool as hell. Right. Isn't it crazy how just when you don't give people what they want, they come up with something themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. Bro, they freaking run. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Hey, that's <laughs> it. Yes. <laughs> I was looking that's for That's turning to a TikTok. <laughs> TikTok that, y'all. TikTok that. <laughs> 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 That was it. We probably can end this month. Okay. Now you uh, you ask why they so quiet? Because you see this Smith, they can barely get in. <laughs> they so funny and silly and like Jovio. You just gotta sit there and wait for it to calm down before you say something. <laughs> Another question they ask is, do y'all feel like y'all um have what they say? Like, do y'all feel like how can I put this? Um, like, do y'all feel like at y'all age? Y'all accomplish more than what y'all should. Or do y'all feel like y'all accomplishment is moving at a fast pace, basically? Hmm? Like being successful. The, the, like y'all passed a lot of people. Did it happen quickly, you know, to be so young and so famous and wealthy at such an age? That's a hard question for them to answer because that's where they are, you know? And so to, to me, it might seem fast, you know, it might be something. But A, they worked hard for it, you know? But B, um, they haven't had a different experience, so they can't really honestly answer that. Oh. Yeah. And that's trying you feel like you're moving too fast in life? You think you're on the right pace, or do you feel like you're not where you want to be? I'm not where I want to be, even though, like, you know, even though I, I'm i where a lot of people want to be, I don't feel like I'm not I'm yeah. where I want to be, you know? Yeah. She answered that well. I take that back. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. What about you? I feel like I can do more. Mm-hmm. But you know what I was thinking? 
mm-hmm. not too long ago, people my age live so different than how I'm living right now. I am 17 years old. And you you know you want to know what my I'm blessed. Yes. yes. Yes, I'm glad you, you see. <laughs> she is blessed. They all are. You want to You want to know what my first check was at 14? What? 10k. Damn. What is a 14 year old go do oh, with 10k? 10, 10k. I need even You can't have... even as a 14 year old, you can't even can't even sit there and be like this is 10k. What was your it's biggest not, YouTube check? Even... What was your biggest YouTube check you ever got? 15. Damn. And you're 17 years old. 17. About that, 17. That, that blows my mind because other people is working right now. Nine to five. You know what's crazy, though? Nine to fives. What was your first check? I don't even think. Like 10K. Like how 10K. much? Look, no, this you know what's weird? I don't know if you want to ask. You don't have the exact number, but how much do you make a day on Instagram? A day? Uh, a day? No, wait, wait. Just a day on Instagram. 15. Wait, on Instagram, like promos? Bro, I don't know what, but my mom always be like, these niggas make money on Instagram, like hella money. Be, I don't on Instagram I do for promos. money a lot. Do you use oh, promos? Do, do you turn twenty-five thousand for a wig promo? That's what I'm saying. These are seventeen-year-old. Oh, twenty-five hundred. Oh, <laughs> twenty-five hundred for a wig promo. That's what I'm saying. These are seventeen-year-olds. So I'm like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, just that's what I'm saying. Bro, to get posted on my page, bro, I charge probably like fifteen to get posted on 15, my fifteen thousand. Fifteen hundred. Is that good? The shady be telling me to charge more. Oh, you need to up that price a little bit. I'm not gonna count. Bro, you need to up that. You have about a million. You know how much I charge? How much you charge? Five hundred. Are you serious? Are you serious? Y'all are tripping. Hey, we're changing, I, I that. That we're changing that. that. We're changing that. We're changing that. We're changing that. I charge eight hundred for my story. We're changing that. We're changing that. They you never need to change. go for it every time I say anything higher. That's why you You're gotta tri- do those like those serious like yeah. those serious. Nah, nah. You need it. Like we'll people talk. that's we'll trying talk. to we'll sell th- clothes and. Hair and we'll all. talk, we'll talk uh-huh. though. Yeah. But you're changing that. That's not the number, and that's not true. I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, no. How do y'all see? That's good. He, they got mentorship, you know. I feel about y'all brothers like that's it's an obvious question, but we didn't even address it. How do you guys feel about your guys' brothers having like uh, a social status? You know, how do you go through life with? I'm gonna go first. You can go first. I'm proud of them. Mm-hmm. I'm really proud of them. But the the downside of it. With me, I'm known from him. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. My my name is his. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So everybody know me from Mu. They don't know me from me. You. Nah, I feel like. But I feel like you're building your own image. Yeah, though. I. Yeah. That's, like if yeah. I go out, they don't say, "Oh my God, that's TT." They say, "Oh my God, it's DDG's sister." Mm-hmm. That's. You know it, but if they're if they're with somebody, because it's like if they're by themselves, I feel like they say it. But that's why, like, if I be out, they say the same thing, bro. Yeah, you DDG, bro? I'd be like, don't nah. It, it's, it's <laughs> you don't have a name for yourself. It, but if they, if it's somebody come by by themselves, but then I know I never want to disrespect nobody because you gotta think about it. Who is your Who is your role model? Both yeah. Who your role model? A role model? Yeah. yeah. My mama. Nah, nah. Somebody that you can look up to. So not, I mean, somebody that's like an art. You don't have one, right? I don't have one. Exactly. So you don't know how them people feel. Y'all are some people role models, right? I don't have a role model because it's just like, it's just like, but you got to think about it. <laughs> I don't have a role model. If you seen God. your role model, how could you, what, what is the perfect thing to say? No matter of fact, Kevin Gates was my, uh. I remember that. As, hey. he, Mm-mm. Get you a better one. Try, I try so hard to be like that and be like, okay, probably not with my family or whatever, but I just say yes. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, me too. I just always say yes. I don't know why because I've been like turned down from a photo before or something. And I just be like, and that's just always me just always giving like, it's like, it's three seconds. Okay, here, take it. All right, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, yeah. And that's what I appreciate about the Shay and, you know, the ladies too, but the Shay, he, he gives so much love to his fans and, you know. Way back when, I, I went to take a picture with somebody, a celebrity, and they were like, oh, it's a line you got to pay. And I'm like, I'm a kid. I don't have, you know, money to pay to take a picture with you, you know? And so I felt some kind of way about that. You know what I'm saying? But then I feel you like it's going to get to a point for y'all to where like, okay, it's one person, but then they'll be like, 
20. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. 20 at that one spot. They'd be like, yes to one person. Now 20 people want to say yes. Now you get to your food, it's cold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> I know that's a problem. So it's yeah, like, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day, I'm at, I, where was we at? Where was we at? Where was we at? Where was we at? Because I can, I can picture the nigga walking. Me and Wu Wop was at, and it's funny because you go, me and Wu Wop, uh, we went to Costco. The day, remember the day I posted to Costco? Me yeah, and Wu Wop yeah, yeah, yeah. were sitting, and I, I got Wu Wop a, a pizza. He was sitting there eating, I was yeah. on my phone. A nigga walked past, stopped, and was like, hey, you dub? I'm like, you know, yeah, bro. You mad I can get a picture? I'm like, bro, my son, my son is eating, bro. Like, yeah. Like, you got, just come back, you know, come back. I felt bad, but it's just like. No, you're right, dub. That's a good point. Because in that situation, like, there are precious, precious, precious moments with people and their family. Or not to mention, like they said, their food shouldn't have to be cold because you want to stop and get a picture. Wait until it's respectful. You know, if you see them passing by, if they have a moment, you know, don't get mad if they don't. You know, you don't know what's going on with them. But, you know, it's just treat them with respect, too, because you wouldn't want nobody, you know, barging your table if you're waiting and you had to wait all day to get your food or whatever. Or the kids trying to eat and you over here taking them away from their child. Like, is he supposed to literally take? himself up from his kid and not be watching him just if so you can have a picture that's that's too much bro common sense yeah, yeah. if i seen yep. kevin gates eating with his family yeah mm-hmm. i'm not finna come up or that's just like if i seen you if i seen y'all eating mm. i'd be like you know i try to get your attention from afar yo like that, yeah. I wouldn't walk yeah. up to you like, cause you like, damn nigga, let me eat, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously hungry, motherfucker. <laughs> let me eat. Somebody asked me to take a picture in the bathroom. Oh hell, for real? I'm what? Like, I told her I said when I get out. Like, what? Why are you asking me to take a picture in the bathroom? Like, what? that never happened. That to me. that brings yeah. me. What's the what's the what's the most weirdest fan moment? If that's the weirdest fan moment, then yeah. But what's the weirdest fan moment? Can you answer that? Can I answer that? Yeah, you answer it. I'm I'm very <laughs> man. Mine is crazy. I don't, bro, there's been, uh, I don't know. I got to have somebody. You you have an answer? Go ahead. I got, so wh- this is the craziest shit. And I, I I really argue with my brother and Terrell all the time. I'm getting off at Atlanta, um, I mean, Miami <laughs> airport, right? Yeah. I'm at Miami airport. I got my headphones. The way you tell your stories, bro, right? I just know they're funny. I don't know why. I, I got headphones. So, and we're getting in a private car. You know how, like, when you go to the airport, they have the, mm-hmm. the people Sorry. holding the signs? Yeah. So it said, a uh, girl on it. So yeah. we're walking to the car. I got my headphones on. As soon as I walk out, I see a black nigga and he's doing this. So I'm thinking he's saying, what up? But mind you, I'm just listening to music by my head. My brother looked back like, and I see Terrell look back. <laughs> so I, when I'm getting in the car, I can see my brother like face like, and Terrell face like. So I'm like, you know, whatever. Yeah. So then he was like, I see my brother talking to me like, and I was like, what you say? And he was like, why you let that nigga say that to you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, the nigga out there. I'm like, what the fuck he say? He was like, bald head ass bitch. <laughs> you know, you bald head ass bitch. I was oh like, my God. I'm like, what the, who the fuck? I'm like. <laughs> so Dub, like, turn, the, turn this car around. Ain't nobody say that. And then he's, now at this point, these niggas are dying laughing. <laughs> you let this nigga hold you. If I was there, I'm bro. like, nigga, y'all really let this nigga say this whole ass shit? Like, it was the, that was the worst shit I ever, because, and they still bring this shit up to this day, but I had headphones, I had beats on. Not AirPods, beats. <laughs> this is the funny thing. They're like, what if Dub heard them niggas say it, but them saying. niggas was too big? No, it was one act nigga. like you ain't It was one nigga, bro. One nigga. So do y'all got, um... Probably gonna wrap it up. Do y'all got any more questions for us? Do you have any questions for us? How do y'all deal with like dub? I don't know about you, cause you you know, but how do you deal with like girls in your DMs? Like, how do you choose the one? Oh me, I mean, since uh, well, the times I was single, I would just be like, you know, I feel like me, bro. Like I take, I try to take the same advice. I feel like a lot of girls like try to be on their best behavior and stuff like that. So me, I just really try to. I don't know. I honestly, one of those people that I feel like it's probably too late for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm gonna. Be, I'm not I'm gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna find the right one anytime soon. Right now, unless like, unless you know somebody proves me wrong or I, it's something where like, I don't know. I just feel like everybody's out to get me. I don't know. I feel like everybody be trying to use me, bro. And that's the. See, and that's what I was talking about. Like. 
about earlier. You know, it sometimes all, with all that success comes with that uh, suspicion. I don't know if it's really honestly paranoia, but you know, it's it's like you know, it's it's hard. I'm sure just to find true love and not have those suspicions. Most toxic way to think, but I feel like I don't know. Just with situations, I really need somebody to come in and really like. I don't know, be my friend first and stuff like that and really just learn me and learn them and just know how everything is and just really ride with me, you know? No, so I feel like, but I feel like I got to be able to be fine. I got to feel like be cool about being by myself first. I'm not yeah. cool being by myself first. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. So I always feel like I need somebody. So that that'll either, that also got me fucked up in a relationship when we have breaks and shit. I always need to be around somebody. I need to be around people. You know what I'm saying? But that was a problem. That you know comes, what I'm saying? That comes along with self-love. Exactly. So that's why, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit. So me right now, I'm not really focusing on the girl. I'm focused on just trying to go crazy. I'm trying to go crazy on my YouTube, trying to go crazy behind that. Just, you know, investing stuff and just trying different things and just I want to make sure everybody's good, but on the next couple of years, make sure everybody's straight, you know? Make sure everybody's crazy, you know? How y'all feel about being 18 in a couple like in a year. I'm 18 in two months. Yeah, less Damn. than two yeah. months. Your birthday is in August? Yeah. It's over. So you just turned 17. <laughs> no, bro. Once t but this is how I look at it. Once TT turns 18, I know I'm finna turn 18. No, once 22, 20, 20, what, 2023 <laughs> comes? What's this year? 2000, yeah, 2023 comes. <laughs> Lost the year, bro. bro. Wait, what's this year? It's 21. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The 2000. <laughs> It's How many years have you lived? How many years have you lived? I thought it was 2020. <laughs> no, I know it's 2021, but I was like, in my head, I'm looking at the day. I'm like, damn, that one don't look familiar. <laughs> Maybe because I ain't write down the date. See, and that comes with it, like not having a nine to five. You maybe you don't have to write the date down every day, but also, college is important sometimes. So just wait. <laughs> Still didn't explain what happened to the extra year. I'm just like, a long time. <laughs> but um, I got I got uh one question. Um, uh, <laughs> what, is <that>? <laughs> <laughs> what is your question? See, also being a little sister, you gotta be stuck here with this. Like they, those ladies, TT and Brooklyn, are ready to go. They are done with it. It's over. They taking their phone. They trying to get out of here. But you can't leave because your brother's here. You know, your big brother is not going to let you just leave. Uh, I was going to say, um, do any of y'all, do y'all know what SSH is? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too. Because everybody quiet over there. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was saying, this is, this is a, they know what I'm talking about. They yeah, know, but. Huh? Y'all it's not y'all, not y'all. Um, do you guys want to say anybody to anybody out there before we get off? Nigga, what? I know. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> I think that was weed. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga weed alarm came out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it's blood. I think he said, do anybody, anybody. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to cap. Oh, man. That is. I feel like y'all need to get some like comfortable, more comfortable. Oh, we is. We is. Yeah, no, this is just the pre setup. We're going to have y'all again, yeah. probably when y'all turn like 18, just to get a reset. <laughs> but all this is going to be like. We got like a logo. It's going to be like a logo, everything. We're going to have a chair. We're going to have a, a, a couch. Everything is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. That's you know what oh, let me ask, what do you? What is your first car going to be, ATT? Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't have a car yet? Nope. So this is, this is a big deal. What you, what you going to be for your first car? What's your hey, first car? What do you want a dream car? I don't. I just want a truck. A truck. I, I like being high up for some mm -hmm. reason. Whatever it is, I just want a truck. If you could choose. Don't you feel more safer, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, like, driving my mama car mm -hmm. is too small. Yeah. What like, car you want? My car is too small, too. Um, You're talking was, about Mercedes right now. <laughs> yeah, we're, about, not, we're not talking about. My sister's talking about my car is too small. Uh, I don't. When I drive my mom's forty five thousand twenty about Mercedes, it feels so small. <laughs> they go what the fuck? Mercedes, bro. They got a box when I have my first. Talking car. about. I want to change it for a Range Rover or a Tesla. I <laughs> hey, let me tell you how Brooklyn Sims first like that. Tomorrow I'm changing my car for a Range Rover. <laughs> what, <laughs> nigga? What? <laughs> <laughs> nigga? What? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Like, not nigga. even 18. <laughs> what? You can't so, even go and buy a car Wouldn't yourself. you want me in a safer car, though? Like, I feel like my car's just so small. Like, Benzes are good, though. Like, in car accidents, like, they're, they're material and everything. But I just feel like 
I'm gonna get smashed in a car yeah. accident with it. Or you're gonna just flip over. Yeah, like I want something heavy, like So you wanna be the person crashing. <laughs> Are you guys moving out at eighteen? No. I don't think so. I might. You gonna move out? I'm thinking about it. Me and my mom had to talk about it. Deja don't like it though. Oh, me and Titi girl, was gonna you know, roommate. She's ready to move out. But Dang. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna y'all be, roommated. I'm gonna be sick. Y'all gonna get tired of each other. Do y'all know my mom? My mom. I don't know why she would move. My mom is literally moving into a mansion, like when her lease is up. For so her. you could have Your not own big, space. The spaces is three leveled man. It's a three leveled mansion with a movie theater, finished basement downstairs, and it's just like you're you alone. Out of that? Hmm? You're alone at that. Point. You don't want to live that in that mansion. I don't know, but I always have my mind set on, like, you know how when you're a kid, you're like, okay, I'm- This f- real world shit is hard. I'm going to tell you that right now. I got kicked out at 18. I didn't know, I was 17. Well, the day I graduated high school, my mom kicked me out. He's far off. He's far off. Like, he's 20 like, years ahead. I'm trying to tell you, TT, listen. It was black and do white when not, he was a kid. Do not move out. Not, you don't have to. Cause you're not, you don't have the black uh, statistics that other people used to have. <laughs> you don't need to move out. I really don't think you need to. You not really that. got it pretty cool. Are you trying to do that so I can, you know, I'm TT, I'm home, you know, independent. I want to be able to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do what? Like, do what? Do what? Like be like, able to say that you move out and have have everything together. Like do it on my Once own. You, so you want to you wanna just, you want to just, you want to just start it. You want to just start it? Yeah, I want to prove to everybody that I can do it. Mm-hmm. Nobody thinks I can do it. Don't nobody. Everybody thinks you can do it. Yeah. Why would you do it? But who's the people? Who's the people? Who's the? She needs to have her own life and her own independence. I don't blame you, TT. You know, you got to spread your wing. Like, how's she gonna find out who she is if she's not living by herself? Sometimes, you know. And it, it, you have to do it when you're ready. So if Brooklyn's not ready and TT's ready. You know, nobody asked when the guys moved out. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. So go, TT. I got people. You. Exactly. Say it. Who's the people? Who's the people? <laughs> My family. Oh, it's your family? I thought you said the internet. God damn. <laughs> oh, wrong. Damn, damn dumb. Do it. <laughs> so it, it makes me want to do it more because they don't think I can. Bro, do don't you hate that as a teenager? Like, bro, you tell a teenager not to do something, they want to do it just because you said not to do it. No, I'm just, I used to do that. It's just the fact, like, bro, why? You know, it was like, I wanted to, like, Hit bitches in my crib. <laughs> I wanted to like had a homie. Uh-huh. And just because she's a lady, don't mean that she don't want to just have a private time with her guy either, you know. But now everyone, including the internet, is in her business. You know whether she's at, she's filming herself, whether her brothers are filming. You know everybody knows what's going on, so she needs a place where she can be private and she can do what she want to do. And if she eighteen, she can do what she can, what she want to do. What you want to do with it? Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but we lived in a flat house. Like, it was just a one, like, a story in a basement. It was, like, it was nowhere to venture off. Yeah. But if your mom lives in a mansion, a <laughs> six-bedroom mansion, right? Yeah. Well, that's coming up. Why would you, where do you, you can have all the, oper- like, space that you need? I see. Like, y'all live in a big-ass house. I seen that shit. Pool and shit. Yeah, yeah. They do, not me. Right. My ass right here. <laughs> Lonely. <laughs> but um I gotta go to I gotta go to Cabo in the morning. No, you don't. He gotta go quick his I got a quick flight to Cabo. Um uh what you gonna be doing? Dub mad as hell I didn't post May 10 no Uber Eats before this podcast. What you gonna be? What you gonna So hey, you trying to leave and go downstairs? Is it sad watching movies alone and shit? Like how do you get into the movie? Are you alone? Don't you be hearing shit? Like you're <laughs> knocking at the door. Oh shit. <laughs> do 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 Arby's get mad when you post yourself in McDonald's merch? Or do they just That was ass, Brooklyn? Damn, that was ass. Damn. Damn. Hey, listen, man, we got a Damn. lot of things. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You forgot to tell them. You didn't even tell them. What? We opening up the promotion thing. What promotions? All right, y'all. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Click the bell and become part of the Noto Squad.